Hi guys, this is the Dev Lounge with our OS X Mountain Lion review. Now on Wednesday the 25th of July, Apple released its latest operating system, OS X Mountain Lion. Now OS X Mountain Lion can be purchased from the Mac App Store for $13.99 or $19.99 in US dollars. So let's go over to the Mac App Store and take a look at how we can install and download Mac OS X Mountain Lion. If you go to the Feature tab, you'll probably see this great big banner at the top saying Download Today. So if we go ahead and take a look at that, you can see that the price is $13.99 in pounds and $19.99 in US dollars. The size is a hefty 4 gigabytes, and this took me only about an hour to download and install it, considering that the Apple servers were under such huge stress as so many people were downloading it on the release date. But nevertheless, all you need to do is click the price, buy it, it will download, and then once it's downloaded, the installation will start and just follow the on-screen instructions. It's very simple, you won't lose any data, so I do encourage everyone to buy and download this. It's a very reasonable price from Apple. So let's take a look at some of the new features that Apple have introduced into OS X Mountain Lion. We're going to start with the Launchpad. There's been a, a small update to the Launchpad. They've added a search feature so we can search for applications directly at the top of our launch pad, similar to the Spotlight search on our iPhones or the Finder. And we can search for our, our applications directly. So a lot of people may have pages and pages and pages of applications and sieving through them or sieving through the folders trying to find wherever they are can be tedious. So we can directly type in here and find our applications, which is a great new feature. I like it a lot. So that, thank you Apple, that was great. Uh, moving on, we're going to take a look at documents in the cloud. So to enable this, we need to actually go to our system preferences and click on the iCloud tab. And you need to check the documents and data to enable this. And then we can go into one of our older applications, Keynote, Numbers, Pages. And Apple have recently updated these to allow us for iCloud use. So if we start up Keynote, and you'll notice that we have an iCloud tab and an On My Mac tab, which is awesome. We can now create a new document straight in the cloud, modify it on our Mac, save it, and then continue where we left off on our iPad or iPhone. So you can literally finish a sentence and pick up your iPad and continue where you left off without losing any data, having to faff around, transferring anything so that is a brilliant update. Thank you very much for that. Been long awaited. So moving on, we're going to take a look at two other new applications that Apple have introduced into OS X Mountain Lion. These have been on iOS 5 for the past year almost. So that's Notes and Reminders. I love Notes and Reminders on my iPhone and my iPad and I been long awaited it to come onto the Mac and now that it's here it's great it's fast it syncs incredibly fast so I'm going to go ahead and do a quick demo on my iPhone I'm going to update the note iCloud and say from my iPhone and hit the done button and you should see it appear on my Mac there straight away now that is brilliant it's fast it happens instantly and it, the same thing happens when, with reminders. This has been long awaited and finally is here on the Mac. This is a great update, thank you very much. So, moving on again. Another application that Apple have featured in OS X Mountain Lion is Messages. So you can use iMessage like you do on your iPhone and your iPad and your iPod Touch directly from your Mac. You can send these iMessages, you can receive them, so if you send one on your phone, it will appear on your Mac. The only downfall is you can't send and receive on behalf of your phone number. So say if you have your phone number, a message comes to your phone number on your iPhone, you will not get these unless it comes to your Apple ID as well on your Mac, which is slightly disappointing, but nevertheless, I'm sure Apple will update this within time. Other than that, it's a fantastic application, I use it all the time. So moving on to one of the bigger features that Apple have introduced into OS X Mountain Lion and has been quite a popular feature on the phone is the Notification Center. Now Notification Center is found up here represented by this 
button in the top right corner next to your uh, spotlight search and if we click this notification center will slide out very nicely from the right hand side of your screen this can also be done by holding two fingers on the right side of your trackpad and sliding out or towards the center of your trackpad to reveal notification center and from here we can show alerts and banners we can turn it off and it'll resume tomorrow and we can also look at our settings for notifications this is in system preferences then notifications and this shows you all the apps that you've currently got that will be compatible with notification center and you can change the style of the alerts the banners you can tell it to do none a banner will appear and go away an alert requires you to do something or it will stay there forever so also from notification center we can tweet directly so we can tweet directly to Facebook which is a great new feature we've been waiting this and in the fall we will be getting the new Facebook as well so Twitter and Facebook will be a fantastic addition to the Mac OS we've had this on iOS for a while now but in the fall we'll have Facebook and Twitter so that will be a great new feature looking forward to that now another feature that Apple introduced into OS 10 Mountain Lion was the ability to update our Macs while they're sleeping this is known as power nap now I can't demonstrate this to you as I don't have one of the latest MacBook Pro retina displays or one of their MacBook Airs so unfortunately Apple only released this for the 2012 model MacBook Pro and MacBook Retinas and the 2011 onward MacBook Airs slightly disappointing but from what I've heard it's a fantastic feature it updates everything while your Mac's asleep so moving on to one of the other new features that has been introduced into OS X Mountain Lion is Dictation now Dictation is not Siri it's what's on the iPad, the new iPad at the minute, and allows you to dictate to your Mac text. So to enable speech, dictation and speech, and we turn it on, we can choose our shortcut key. Mine's currently set to the FN key twice. You can change your language. You can read some of the privacy if you, if you wish to, but we're going to continue. Most anything, so anywhere where it'll take text input, you can dictate to. So we're going to do it in here, and we're going to hit that function key twice I'm gonna say from my MacBook Pro and then hit the function key again or the done button and it will dictate my text to the note so here we go from my MacBook Pro so there you can see that the dictate has worked perfectly it's a fantastic application if you don't want to type all the time I personally use it a lot it's great I love it so great new feature thank you Apple moving on Safari has received a big update as far as the update goes. Safari 6 has been released. Now, there are a few new features. I'm going to just open up Apple a couple times to demonstrate some of these to you. So, we've got a new tab feature, a new way of viewing our tabs. This is similar, well, exactly the same actually, to the iOS way of viewing tabs. And we've had this for years, but finally, Apple has decided to bring this to the Mac and it's a really easy way of navigating your tabs. These actually work dynamically so if you had a video running on one of your tabs and you were viewing it in your tab view it would still be playing as if you were on the page which is a really nice feature too. We can also close out these tabs. One of the other new features is uh, the iCloud tabs. So if you've got multiple Macs running on OS X Mountain Lion, you can see all of your tabs that you have currently on those devices. And in the fall, when iOS 6 is released, you'll also be able to do that on your iPhone. So you'll be able to look at, have say, five tabs open on your iPhone, and you'll be able to access all of those from your Mac, which will be a lovely new update. And also next to the new... the new unified search bar we have a share button so we can share directly to some of the popular applications on our Mac and the new unified search bar actually is great it's fantastic it works amazing so if we type in Apple we get the top hits that you would expect and then we can also do a Google search directly from here 
as you may remember, we used to have the search bar on the right and the URL in the middle, but now it's unified, Chrome-like, but very efficient work, seems to always bring up the right results, which is lovely new addition. So that's enough of Safari. Let's take a quick look at Gatekeeper. If we go into System Preferences and Security and Privacy, Gatekeeper allows you to keep your Mac safe from potential harmful applications. So by default, Apple have set it to Mac Store and Identified Developers. For more security, you can only limit your application downloading to the Mac App Store. But many of us who download stuff from the internet may just set it to anywhere. The warning will still come up, but it will actually allow you to install it. So this is a nice new feature just for those non-frequent Mac users or people that don't want any other applications on their Mac. So that is a nice feature. We've also got AirPlay. Now you can AirPlay mirror your display onto your Apple TV by going into System Preferences and then Displays and then Show Mirroring Options, that will bring up this and then by turning AirPlay Mirroring on. So as you can see my Apple TV is there, if I was to click it it would allow me to mirror it to my TV. It works really clear, great quality, up to 1080p and it's a fantastic new addition. We've loved it on the iPhone 4S and the new iPad. So that is a great new feature as well. Now, that concludes our review. I strongly recommend anyone who is thinking of buying Mac OS X Mountain Line to do so. It's a very little cost. $13.99. Great update. Brings so many new features. And very cheap in consideration to other previous operating system that uh, Apple have released such as Lion and Snow Leopard, they were considerably more. Now, don't forget to follow me on Twitter on my new account, that is at the Dev Lounge, and like us on Facebook, I'll leave the links in the video description below. Don't forget to like, comment, rate, and subscribe. Now thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.